Now we're live. Holy moly. Oh. I thought it was live beforehand. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I'm sorry, folks. This was, uh, I'm not a morning person. No, and I made not. a mistake and I told myself and zero sitting here going, all right, little payback. I was, um, yeah. mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my goodness. Loki's not doing crazy. well today. I got called yeah. in at the last minute, zero sitting here in the back, you know, all prepped and ready to go. And I got the theme playing and everything and we weren't <laughs> alive. He was trying to psych me out again. I know he was. He's probably, uh, he's probably good to deny, but I'm sitting there just watching the intro like, mm-hmm. Any day now. Yeah, you're not fooling me again. <laughs> <laughs> and well, so the intro finishes, and he's like, oh, that was great. You got to play more of those. Uh, and I said, yeah, we're not live yet, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, good job, buddy. I, I, I applaud your efforts, at least. So, um, <laughs> so do not... Do not adjust your sets. Good morning to everybody in chat. Welcome to a very unofficial special edition of Zero Hour. Yes, Loki is under the weather, so we have convinced him to take the day off. Yes. Uh, so, uh, I am your host today, and with me on the the left, my left, there you go. left, our right, yes, is the one and only, the doctor of the real thugonomics. Doctor. Yeah, but uh, I'm not a morning person. <laughs> That's okay. So the Red Bull hasn't kicked in. That's all the right. body still aches, and the dogs wow. are worried about me jumping all over me. And it's, oh yeah. God. Well, you know what? You're not a morning person, so who better to do a morning show than the doctor of disaster, Adega Outlaw. Give it up for Adega Outlaw. Uh, you know what? There is actually uh, I, I sent a disturbance. Why are, you, why are you not live yet, white people? All We're right. live, Mexican yep. people. Mexican okay. Iron Man's here. That means I get to take the day off too. No, no, Adios, no, 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 y'all. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was that close. That close. Kip. I tried. I tried. It's all right. Oh, my hair is a mess. <laughs> what is going on back here? I'm just curious, though. Did you guys hit the live button yet? The show's 15 minutes late. I'm blaming the I white know. people around here. Well, you can't blame the white people. It's my that fault. Is, that's that's racist. Okay. In in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, I know we were running a little bit late. Um, the things happening here were very very last minute because it basically came down to the wire um, of us convincing Loki to take the day off. So this kind of all got thrown together <laughs> on the. I'm spot. looking at my Twitter feed. So he's sick, not feeling well, and it looks like he's fighting to come on to the show. And you guys probably had a muscle him. Okay, hold on. I'm reading the Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you guys basically had a muscle him and yell at him to tell him to go back to bed. Yes. yes and then I screwed it up. He sat there and trusted me to get this thing running up. You know, it's five minutes after the hour, and that's usually when I check on and make sure everything's okay. And he says, no. He gave me a call and said, get on. So I get on, get things all started up, and we weren't live. Yeah. But, hey, you know I what? am not a YouTuber like you, Mike. That's oh, the wait, problem. I don't know how to run this thing. Wait, so Thank you guys God. were actually thought you were live and you never hit the button? I did. I I knew we were not live ever since Adega trolled me the last time, and Adega <laughs> trolled himself. He had trolled himself. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give did. it up. Give it up for the one and only Mexican Iron Man. Woo! All I'm right. not even a YouTuber, and I know how to hit the red button. So, I mean, who, yeah, better, yeah. who better to do a morning show than a guy who's not no, a morning I, person I, and a guy who's not a YouTuber? The producer all around the interwebs, mm -hmm. Mr. Mike. Yeah, I am not here to. Pr I am not here. I'm. Just, I was just here to get you guys going, and now I'm leaving. You don't know what it is? What? It's such an honor to have Mike here because oh, don't start. You know what? Kissing. I remember him when he was just a little wee taco, and now he's, he's big stuff tired, all right? over the place. And he came to grace us with his presence, Mike. Oh yeah. It's 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 nice that you remember us. Mm. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're now you're psycho yeah. psychologically guilting me into staying. When no. I've already decided I'm leaving because I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not like doing anything. I'm not doing a thing like that at all. I, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> if you, I get the point. This is so radical. If you are not a YouTuber, then what the hell are the rest of us doing here? Come on. Come I'm not. On. I am a I am a second rate co-host doing a morning show with a person who's not a morning person. Well. 
<laughs> I'm Mexican. I'm third rate. <laughs> third rate? Oh, God, no. Oh, you guys are first class citizens now. They get free flights all around the country. Bro, get a get out of jail free card. You get the $1,000 credit cards in New York. Oh, give me a break. You guys are better citizens than the rest of us, and you don't even have a legal birth certificate. Oh, my goodness. Actually, I do. See, that's the thing. Like, somehow, okay, like, we're and it says white on it, doesn't it? Yeah, like I, when I got my birth certificate, it said Caucasian. I thought that's an upgrade. How is that an upgrade? You know what? <laughs> By now being Caucasian, I got no rights, no privileges. I'm racist. I'm the worst guy ever. And I don't get any of them gift cards they get up in New York City where I get a thousand or ten thousand dollars worth of shit. And I definitely don't get any free hotel rooms. But you have seen on all the arrest uh, reports that they're all listed as ca uh, white or Caucasian. That way, the uh, the crime rate looks like it's one people and not the other. Mm. Mexican Iron Man is not a YouTuber, which I'm not. The same way Sweet Baby Inc. is not good for video games. See, I'm not a YouTuber. Mm. I think that's what that thing means. I never you understood what Gilly see it's the same what, thing. What, what, did, uh, what did we all say 20 years ago? You are the weakest link. The tribe has spoken goodbye. You've been voted off the island. I don't know. I don't know. But oh my god. Yeah, I know we had a plan for the show today. Um, but we're kind of, of course, doing it live. We're kind of throwing caution to the wind. So it's uh basically just gonna be an open forum with the three of us. He Mexican Iron Man says he's gonna run away, but we know he's not. He's not a YouTuber, he's not a YouTuber who lives for the YouTube thing. Would you abandon me in a time of need, Mike? Oh remember god. when you were in the he hospital and no and the things Hey, remember the phone calls for your health that I gave you? And I don't like talking about it in front of you, but I'm just I trying talk about to it all the time. You I'm just trying. No, you guys do. I, I don't. Well, I do. But I'm bringing it up now because I you need not your only help. help me get off drugs. You help me clean my system from the drugs. I just we need your help, Mike, please. <laughs> Valhalla does not work without you, Mike. <laughs> Oh my God! Look, he all, he almost put the hat front ways like a white person would. <laughs> there we go. Look at that! Hey oh guys, yeah! What's up, dudes? All right. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Full blown trucker now, man. You're missing your farmer's tan and your your big freaking Coca Cola star. Needs one arm tan for the window. Yep. Yeah. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, which which arm do you use to punch through the window, or is, there, or is that just kind of a whole body, full motion, momentum flight through the glass kind of thing? This is the arm I this is the arm I use to push the hookers away at the truck stop. That's why. It's oh, crazy. so he's he can he's only a, handle three at a time. He's a trucker with hooker, standards. You can tell by my tan line. There's plenty of hooker pushing going on. Dude, you want to see a tan line? My whole body is a tan line. Like, I'm as white as it gets. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Yep, off the rails already. Hey, that, so, was some, that was some white guilt you were giving me there, uh, Adega. Of me? I don't give yeah. anyone guilt. By saying, please don't abandon Aww. us in our hour of need. Actually, it's going to be 40 minutes of need, but in your 40 minutes of need... Yeah, I know, because I blew the first 10 minutes. It's my fault. Bro, I panicked. I was... I was uh, I lost track of time because I was up I was I was up this morning like early and then I go back to bed and then I'm up again but here I am. Mm. So wow. here we are. Thank here you very are. much. Give Mim the white guilt. Well, Adega seems to be the master at that. We know he loves to give it. I don't, I only tell truth. I don't give guilt. If guilt sets into your heart and weighs upon your mind and keeps you awake at night, that's your fault, not mine. I guess that's why I'm never really kept awake at night. Actually, I'm awake at night all the time. Who am I kidding? I am the night. I only hour. sleep three hours a night anyway, three to four hours. Yeah. Mexican yeah. Iron Man is the hero we need. He is, as Mark the Unfamiliar Tired calls it, the Lot Lizard Fighter. Long live the Lizard Fighters! Wow. Long live the Lizards! All right. You are now one half Argonian, my friend. That's awesome. Tidings. He who sleeps with eggs. That is your name. Yeah. Oh, no, no one. There's, there's absolutely nobody that's gonna get that. Get what I said right there. I mentioned Argonian and a weird name, and then yeah, no one's gonna know unless you played something. But that's all right. That's all right. So, that's gentlemen, a, that's the joke Loki would get. The yeah, rest of us don't yeah, understand right. your ancient humor. I'm, I'm surprised we haven't had our usual morning awkward silence yet. 
We did. It's I didn't play the oh, I played the intro Fred, without going live. We had awkward silence for 12 and a half minutes from what I counted. Oh, my goodness. No, we didn't run that late. Yeah. Yeah, Project, we did. Yeah, you Projects. did. We've only been live for 10 minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, so we we were running like what, seconds. 4 or 5 minutes late and just another 8 minutes of just complete rambling. Yeah, Project Storytime knows what I was talking about there. All right, way to go. Way to go. God, I'm such a loser, aren't I? <laughs> no, all right, gentlemen. So what pissed you off this weekend? What in the news got you guys uh, boiling or anything fun and exciting? You know, I, God, I might be alone in this, but in, in today's disillusioned world, I kind of avoid all news that really just goes on because I, honest to God, guys, you want to talk about what pisses me off? What's really been pissing me off this week is people people in general i'm so fed up with people and their attitudes and their entitlement the fakes the phonies the frauds the floozies anything out there man if you can't be yourself and be a genuine person piss the hell off i got no time for you man uh -huh. that's uh, got part of it bloodbath are, anyway. are you guys familiar with my uh new company i'm starting no it has to do with youtube <laughs> how to heart. how to be a successful un youtuber that's a sweet taco baby. Sweet taco baby. Mm. Have you heard Your mic went out, Mike. There you go. Zero, have you heard about my new company called the Sweet Taco Baby? Sweet Taco Baby. I, you know, I haven't heard of it, but it sounds a little tantalizing. I think I'm your first employee, aren't I? Really? Uh, yes. You can be my. Yeah, you can be. You can help split some revenue. Okay, here we go, everybody. Big announcement. Oh if you haven't seen it already. We're not hearing it now. Allow me to improvise. Hi, I'm Mexican Iron Man. I'm not a YouTuber, and I'm here to talk about how to not be a YouTuber here on YouTube. What? <laughs> did I hear it or not? <laughs> no, we didn't hear it. We did not hear, <laughs> hear it. God. See, I told you I'm not a fucking YouTuber. You're just a producer who doesn't know how to run things. Gotcha! <laughs> Which button? Exactly. I, I pushed the button, I clicked the video. I pushed the button, I clicked the video. All right, here we go. Take two. Let's go. Today, I am proud to announce that in light of recent events, Mexican Iron Man is officially launching a new company. Get excited, everyone, because for only $1,000 an hour, you can hire Sweet Taco Baby Inc. Now available to provide consulting services on uh, brownie and taco life to make you more inclusive. Sweet Taco Baby. Woohoo! You know how disturbing wow. that uh, artwork is. <laughs> hey, I didn't put that together. So, uh, who did that? Was that Chris Persian did that? <laughs> it probably it might, have, it might have been. So it was either Chris or, yeah. or Josh, one of them guys. Hmm. The wrenches are always at work. The wrench is working for the YouTubers who claim they're not YouTubers. Ooh. We have a super <laughs> chat. We do have a super chat. Psycho Dwarf Nine. Yeah, I know. I can't do Loki's thing. He says, I got to make an airport pickup in a bit. Have a kick-ass day, everyone. We sure as hell will. Psycho Dwarf. Psych. Well, but see, this is why I don't do this shit. I am not a YouTuber. <laughs> Psycho Dwarf Nine. Thank you very much for your super chat. Are we going to scold that? Uh, it depends. Who's doing the skulls? Are you got it, Mike? You're, you know you're how producing. I just showed up to like. Yeah, but this thing's all organized your way. I don't even know how to do this stuff. God, you, people, you white people. I don't know. Organized you, his way. So it's you know organized. What? If, my, if my people had just gotten up a little earlier in the morning, maybe I'd still have my native indigenous. A dollar? I've never seen a dollar. Nobody's got a dollar. Let us see the dollar. There it is. It's beautiful. Take your hat off, boy. That's a dollar bill. <laughs> Look at zero. <laughs> I, the, the man, the man is so good at not being a YouTuber. He knows how to cut himself <laughs> off. Before he no, did. I cut him off. It wasn't him. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, it's like we're all sharing a brain right now, and there's not enough for one. Holy crap! Ah, uh, Mike. In all seriousness, you... in all seriousness, uh, Mike, if you gotta go, you gotta go. I see you're working on three different things right now. Yeah, I do. I, I kind of am working on three different things right now. I got a client that's like 
pestering me right now. Yeah, you, you take care of business. We appreciate you getting things in order and, and showing us your YouTube skills and, and leading yeah. the way. Yeah, sorry about it. Got, sorry. You're good. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. here on right. the East Coast, and uh, I got to tend to some fires that are already breaking out. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Ben, we Thanks, appreciate Mike. you stopping by. Y'all come back real, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah. The hero of the common man. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, I can uh, tell when he's busy. You saw him. He, it's, his head was just bouncing yeah, back and forth well, between was, screens and calls. And know. Yeah. it's. I mean, God, guy knows how to multitask. For a guy that doesn't know how to do the YouTubes, he knows how to multitask. But, yeah. I mean, it, I, I can't say I know the feeling because I'm still getting used to, like, trying to make sure that I don't have any weird stains on my shirt and trying to read chat and, you know, all the other stuff going on where – Cameras aren't very friendly to me, and you can see why. Um, right. Uh, anyways, yeah. Well, thank I you can't for even turn the stream on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Consider that just a little bit of karma for last time. Mock and he draws. I promise, brother. I was getting to you. We like. We do like to ramble here. Mock and he draws with his ten dollar, ten dollar super chat, asking us: Are you guys stopping at regular time, or are you going longer to make up those fifteen minutes? We can start right after y'all's show is over, if you like. Um, Keep your show, Mackie. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Don't, We're not going to bug you. Yeah, don't don't let the um, the overrun kind of interfere with your daily plans. Again, the the whole premise this morning um, was very literally last minute on the spot kind of decided. So we'll just uh, treat it as a normal day, brother. Don't uh, feel you have to adjust for our minor mistakes. We just we just you know had to kick Loki out of the office and make sure he's going to take care of himself. So All anyway, right. yeah. So on behalf of everybody, I do want to apologize. We were a little bit slow getting started this morning. So at least you understand why. Um, send Loki your well wishes. I know he really likes hearing that stuff. Um, and yeah, he'll be back soon. So don't worry about it. We just got to convince him to take after himself. So Got a school for you, Mackie. All right, here we go. Score! There you I, go. I love the Mortal Kombat shout out in something that's not a Mortal Kombat game. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> show, show back TJC uh, says weird stains. No, that's not what it sounds like. You disgusting pervert. Way to be mature, guys. We here at Zero Hour are very. Pff, yeah, who am I kidding? Um, I meant I meant like you know coffee stains or food stains or some. You know, not right, right. Not streaking brown live. stains yeah they all oh, fit good good god no not that i live like a slob um <laughs> you know sometimes sometimes it's like when you go to a job interview and you get a stain on your nice brand new tie and you don't even know it's there until someone points it out it's just the irony of irony so never had that happen wow that's that's crazy i've worn a lot of ties too really yeah, but then again, half of my ties are Italian, really nice ties, and it's you get paranoid. <laughs> yeah, you you know what's funny? The last time I'm sorry, I'm ranting and raving so much this morning, guys. But the last time I tried to put on a tie was for my friend's wedding, probably about ten or twelve years ago now, and it had been so many years since then since I had worn a tie. I had to YouTube a tutorial on how to tie a tie. It was literally that, how to tie a tie. And I was getting so pissed off because the guy was very nice and he was saying, all right, bring the bottom part up, blah, 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 fold it over. But I kept getting it wrong because I was doing it mirrored to my screen, but it was backwards, <laughs> if, if, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I was just getting pissed off. Several times I took the tie off and said, fuck it, I'll get a clip on. But no, we, we didn't do that. What's, what's your favorite kind of tie? What, to, what are you a Windsor knot kind of guy? Are you a bow? No, I don't use this. I used to use those early on, but I don't anymore. I, I do two of my own little design. Um, it, with most silk ties, you can make the knots really small, and I've I don't care. I still like them really small. Or there's one that I kind of invented. I think somebody else has done it too, where you don't see a knot at all. It looks like the tie drops straight from your neck without a knot. Whoa. 
And then if I get, I have Sounds certain cool. tie pins or collar pins um, that'll put on there. So it kind of dresses up the neck, but uh, mm. yeah, I, I, I do things a little different. Yeah. Well, you're, you're an original species. Also one more time, Mockany with another $5 super chat. Jesus. Yes. Mockany. We're sure. Um, we'll let you do your show at the regular time. We'll try to minimize the overrun this morning. So again, don't, I know it's no big deal, but you know, just well it's 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 a normal morning it's it's kind of a weird morning but it's a normal morning we'll keep we'll stick to the same time schedule um i can't even speak this morning <laughs> that's why you need to appreciate loki more because he is the true yeah. professional well, zero and i just kind of monkey around here in the yeah, back we, we just i i joke with him all the time i always say dude i'm like the least qualified guy to be here i don't know shit about shit he's like no 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 you're wrong brother shut the fuck up <laughs> he doesn't say that but my <laughs> god there there's so many of you out there dig included you guys have so much chemistry with my brother man like god it's it's unbelievable how much you guys just get on with each other it's cool it's really cool it, and it's loki and i are a little different though he he loves joking around i'm not the comedian i i mean i mm -hmm. i kind of screw up my sense of humor is really retarded um <laughs> yes i said that word <laughs> i know um, i was just thinking oh he said a no no word. <laughs> we, we here at zero hour condone the use of proper parental guidance language and therefore do not condone such use of blah 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 Who yes that, my <laughs> sense of humor is is less than um Hey, you know what? It's, it's it's not inappropriate, but it's, it's it's as if I was a child on too much Ritalin and sugar. It just doesn't make any sense. So I try and stay away from the jokes. Yeah. But when it, when Loki and I are around, it's usually about stuff that's pretty dang serious, you know, mm -hmm. conspiracies, dark stuff, all the uh, – cryptids and various things in history i leave all the jokes for the rest of you guys ah well you, it, it for me it gets to a point where i'm just kind of thinking you know like even if i don't have anything overly relevant to say which sometimes a lot uh <laughs> sometimes I'd, i like to make light of certain situations um you know i'll toss a joke in there whether it's good or bad hell it could be a dad joke for all i know i have no idea um, that's just kind of my thing. That's, that's how I am sometimes, but I would like to think at some point for those of you that do know me, um, I'm not just, you know, well, there's zero just cracking his jokes again. Cause he's got nothing else to talk about. Oh, <laughs> back to the igloo and hockey sticks. No, we're, I would like to think after talking to so many of you in chat, talking with the Dago over here, sorry. See, I'm still learning how to tie a tie. Everything's good. Yes, we're not YouTubers. Uh, talking with the Dag here, talk with Loki before or after the shows, talk with Mike, talk with everybody. You know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of deep, intriguing personalities out there. And I do enjoy getting to know everybody. Not that I can do it very often. Um, I kind of feel like WWE's Undertaker. I just kind of come in and then I'm gone sometimes, but, <laughs> you know, but I would like to think when it, when it all comes down to it. Yes. Zed, I am Canadian. <laughs> no dude to boot it. Snow uh, Mexican. I was surrounded one from the South and one from the North. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I mean, if you, if you have a different sense of humor than everybody else does, well, that just means you're unique. And I just noticed my horrible hair sticking up again. Like what the hell did nobody point that out to me? Thanks a lot. Um, you know, so I mean, like you, sometimes my sense of humor is brash. Sometimes it's subtle. Not everybody's going to get it. But again, I would like to think we're a collective enough group where we could talk about absolutely anything and someone is going to have a very valid professional opinion on it. Mm. Now that that's out of the way, <laughs> what a goddamn lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. No, when my family sits around for dinner, they'll sit there and joke, and they have they have twisted sense of humor. But mm -hmm. theirs makes sense. I throw something out, and then the whole family will stop and look at me and just go, um, all right, moving on. <laughs> so so you, you at family gatherings, you kind of have a little bit of awkward silence peppered into your conversations here and there? It lasts about two seconds because usually okay. there's somewhat the, – the wit in my family cannot be outclassed. 
mm-hmm. and I just sit back and enjoy the show. But then again, you know, my wife's a doctor, I'm a doctor, the kids are professionals for, mm-hmm. for the most part. When we sit around for dinner, it's it's dark. It's uh, you know, Ugh. body parts, surgeries, you know, things that we've found on X-ray that have been inserted, clipped, or pinned in various different body parts. And people oh. as old as eighty, you would, you know, if those of you who know what a Jacob's ladder is, and seeing another eighty year old, old man, are just going, um, dude. Wow. <laughs> um, if if nobody knows what those are, just Google it on your own time. <laughs> won't get into that. I I do want to bring so so you you kind of have a family that would get along. Say say you got asked out. I know you're married and that's all well and good, but if it would be the same kind of thing if if your wife was working as like a mortician or something like that. You have that sense of humor that. Oh yeah. You you can get because I mean it, let's face it to be a mortician I think you have to have a sense of humor to begin with. I mean let's be real here. Right. It's like you're not going to go around, go to work. Oh, life is pain. Come home from work. Hi, honey. Life is pain. How was your day? Life is pain. No, you you got to you got to enjoy your you got to enjoy what you're do what you're doing. And you have to uh, you have to enjoy the little things that kind of make everything in this world a little more bearable for everybody. Well, Mark see, wants Mark, to know how. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is you, you go to a very, at least to be a sterile environment, otherwise you might lose body parts. And then uh, sometimes a lot of alcohol is used and various numbing agents. And the old man likes to get it on. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's how. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, you, you could be 80, 89, 90 years old. Doesn't mean you're not dead. You still got to enjoy yourself. And if that means, you know, getting a little motion, motion going on, then so be it. I say live your life, man. Go for it. All right. All right. You see that? I do. Chris Perser says, a day get, yeah, you know what? He he mentioned you. I'll let you take that one. It wasn't me. It's it's um. Da, da, oh wait, maybe she did. Okay, I was sitting here looking up for the appropriate skull. That's Arlena sent a two dollar rumble rant. I was waiting for the wrestling reference. Driving, yeah. so she won't be chatting much. Have a good time, y'all. Well, if you're driving, then I have something oh, that you'll recognize the sound of. Skull. Oh, Burn it all down with some toxic femininity. Oh, hell yeah. There's another <laughs> rest, wrestling reference for you. Had I known we had some fans out there, I would have thrown more at it. Hey, guys, what do you think of The Rock's new old theme? It's cooking. Pretty badass. Um, so, Adega, let's make so this... Let's 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 make this portion about you, my friend, because we don't get to have you on here that often. I've always been wanting I to I can ask leave. You. No. Are you kidding? What? Yeah. What? Watch if Zero does a show by himself. Watch the ratings <laughs> dive hardcore before hardcore in an AEW televised program. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I said it. No one moves the needle over there, baby. You just become part of the Borg Collective, and everybody just forgets about you. So let's. I, I want to. Before I wanna, you get there, I want to. I want to. Saj has life is pain if anyone tells you otherwise they are selling you something i i like that and not the Mm. way he thinks because most people uh, will think that that's something bad if you go to the gym you get no progress unless there's pain involved it's emotional it's physical it's all of that stuff you want to get better you gotta have pain if you're not in pain in this life you're not living Mm. it's just part of it and your attitude depends on uh, how you take it is what you're going to do. Are you going to excel? Are you going to grow from it? Or are you just going to uh, waste your life? Mm-hmm. It may be painful. It may be down and dirty. It may be something that uh, is uh, looks insurmountable, but it's still good for you. Yeah. I don't care where you are. Yeah, it's true. You feel the pain, that means success. Sorry, I was still focused on the gym references there. Don't, guys, don't go to the gym and work out to the point where you do hurt yourself. Just just 
be careful. But when you when you feel that next day soreness, yeah, that's success, brother. You guys did it. Females too. Um, I mean, Here it is. This man knows. Goes to the gym every day. All growth comes from trauma. Of course it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. That is true. That's very true. And it's a very lovely, down-to-earth, very proactive outlook, Mr. Odega. A Marine will tell you that pain is weakness leaving the body. You know what? That's an awesome way of looking at it. Yeah, absolutely. Now just tell a man the same thing who's suffering through hemorrhoids. God. It's just leaving out through a different vehicle. That's it. Well, yeah, that's that's true. So and I, nothing I a good hot poker can't fix. You get that thing oh, searing yeah. hot and just burn that beast. See, I told you my humor's off. A lot, <laughs> a lot of good images today, but hey, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't ran away yet. All right, so so I I gotta ask you before we get all off topic again. My God, <laughs> so you briefly mentioned conspiracy theories and conspiracists and all the yes things going on there so how much i mean are you do you buy into all that kind of stuff are you a conspiracy theorist or do you just have a general interest in such things i mean if conspiracy I, if I, theorist is an odd way to frame things um and there's let me put it to you this way something is only a theory until you have proven it hmm. so i i I have been in circles and under circumstances and seen things that uh, let's say most conspiracy theories aren't theories for me. So are we talking like, boop, 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 boop. take us to your leader. Have you seen, have you seen UFOs? Adegas? Yes. I want to believe the truth is out there. Yeah. I, no, I, there, there was, um, you know, you see the satellites and stuff as you're a kid and you think, oh, that's cool, you know, but they're just satellites buzzing around. But I lived, and I've mentioned this on um, Thursday night one time, mm -hmm. where I, I lived in the desert. We were about a uh, hundred, nah, I'm trying to think of distance. Maybe it was less than a hundred miles away from Vegas. We were on the border of um, Arizona and Nevada mm -hmm. along the Colorado River at a place called... Uh, Laughlin or Bullhead on the Arizona side. And I was looking out the window one time towards Area 51, towards there Vegas. It, it was in the evening, and I thought, oh, yeah, look, I'm seeing uh, there's a uh, Venus because it was mm -hmm. low on the horizon. It was very bright. Right. And in an instant, it was not fast enough to where I couldn't see it move, but it was so fast. Considering its distance, it must have traveled at least – I'd say 80, 90 miles in a second. Just boom, boom. On the opposite side of the horizon, I thought, wait, what the heck? And then it sat there for a second and then went straight up and gone. Boom. Instant. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've seen some odd things. And, you know, That's considering where it was coming from, I figured, well, we have some really cool craft that no one's telling anybody about. There's that, too. Yeah. So are, are you are you kind of a realist at the same person? Like, do you see something fantastical and then do you kind of logically try to think your way through it or do you just take it for what it is going huh how about that well are you, kind of, are you kind of both sides of the coin type of person i i take everything with a um analytical perspective i always um there's an explanation for supernatural. There's an explanation for scientific. There's an explanation for all things. Whether or not we understand it doesn't mean anything. It means that there's something real and our comprehension is all based upon our perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I try and analyze it with as many different types of perspectives as humanly possible for me right. anyway you know is there tools that we can use to analyze it is there evidence in history is there uh, other collaborate uh, collaborating evidence from people's testimonies you know just e e e put the mm -hmm. whole thing together yeah well i mean you know my myself because <clears throat> I'm, I'm not the brightest guy i never will be sorry i did see that super chat i know we just keep rambling on and on cycle dwarf nine again with his five dollar super chat there is no cure for the ore but the ore <laughs> yes thank you psycho dwarf nine hell yeah 
I know. I'm sorry. We ramble on quite a bit, but that's what happens when we do it live. Uh, but you know, like I was saying, I'm, I'm not the brightest guy here. I know things about certain things, but I'm not, I've never been like a book smart kind of guy. Sometimes I wouldn't even say I'm a street smart kind of guy. Um, it, it, it is what it is guys. Everybody's got taste of their own, but just because, you know, cause I look at it from the perspe perspective that just because I can't explain something doesn't mean there isn't an explanation out there. And if someone else, just because something can't be explained, I think that gives it all the more reason to have a little bit more of an open mind. If, if you know what I'm saying, like, oh, I don't know what that thing up was up in the sky there. I can't explain it. Huh. That could be anything that might be worth looking into. Some somebody else may be able to explain it. But I mean, just because you yourself personally can't explain it doesn't mean that, you know, the truth is out there or maybe there is no truth to be found. Maybe it's supposed to be a mystery. Who knows? All right. So I got to ask you. Did we land on the moon? Yes. Of course we did. And more Come times on. than they told us. Yep. Okay. All right. And we're going to get this one out of the way. Adeg is going to set the record for us straight here once and for all. <laughs> Round earth or flat earth? It depends on your perspective. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, it's round. It's round. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's not quite round. It's more it, egg shaped. It's it is more egg shaped. Yes, that is that is. Uh, it, it wobbles and and we and here's the part of the reason why there's so many stupid bozo rays around is our, our magnetic field is weakening, the mm -hmm. poles are shifting, and we are being hit by more cosmic rays than we have in several thousand years, and it tends to make most people stupid. Some people get really uh, significantly more intelligent, and it increases their. Uh, uh, memory, cognitive ability, various different things, but most people turn into bozos. Mm. And that's why we're, some of it is because we have evil people trying to take control. And the other part of it is, is just people are affected by you. you everyone knows you go to the hospital on a full moon and it is like a zoo. Mm. Well, the world is turned into a zoo. Yeah. As our world slowly turns at 55,000 right. miles an hour or right. whatever it is, whatever right. it is, man. Yeah. See, you know, you know what I would love? Um, I know now that we've gone on to all this astrology can, you know, science and space and ah, you know what I would love? I, you can't do it anywhere around here. There's way too much light pollution, but if, and for those of you in chat that did not know this, yes. If you are in a clear enough space, not space. I just mean, you know, if you look up at the night sky and it's decently clear enough, um, I think closer to the North Pole you get, it might be a little bit better. But if you look into the sky, you can actually see the Andromeda galaxy. It's faint, but it, it, it looks like a star and there's a lot of cloudy haze around yep. it. But if, if you can see that, that is the Andromeda galaxy. Yep. Very, very, very slowly approaching us. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, for those of you in chat that didn't know, yes, that is a thing you can do. You can see it with the naked eye. High Anyways. desert where there's no light pollution is probably yeah. one of the best places because in desert areas, there's the humidity in the air is very diminished. Yeah. Um, and make sure you don't do it after some big, like right now is kind of tougher. Our, like I said, our sun is doing some bizarre things. It's at what they call yeah. solar maximum. So there's, there's mm -hmm. flaring going off all the time. We're going to be hit on the 20th by some plasma stuff. So you may, mm -hmm. it may be a good time to see some uh, Aurora Borealis and some, and things some more on. people doing some dumb stuff. Um, oh, I'm sure. Well, we don't need a solar. Right. Solar. So our, <laughs> our, our atmosphere is full of protons and, and it's causing that they will have some weather events and maybe some more earthquakes and stuff. Um, so right now is not the good time. But yeah, in a few years when everything calms down again and you look up, it, it should be pretty dang cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but technically, if we didn't have all that interference, Andromeda would look like the size of a, a dime on its side. It probably would, yeah, if we didn't have all of that <clears throat> excess pollution going mm -hmm. on up there, whether it's, you know, our own artificial doing or, you know, light pollution. Well, I guess that is artificial pollution anyway. But yeah, it's it's absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Hey, and uh, also, don't look at anything in the daytime. That's bad. <laughs> When I say yeah, big to, yellow thing up there, don't stare yeah, at it. Yeah, don't don't stare at that. I was gonna recommend everybody go grab a pair of binoculars and go look at the moon through that, but don't do that. Don't do that in the daytime. Maybe. They wave back at you. They do wave back at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> just just wait till we start walking around on Mars and you know screwing all that up. And we've everything. already been there. Well, I mean, you know, walking around. Yeah, no. Hey, we've Bill, been how's there. it going? Off to work at the plant again? Oh yeah, gotta take. Oh, I am. I am cause... of the opinion that we have a, a secret space program, oh. multinational, oh. and they've already been there. Sounds like it's another conspiracy theory time. Oh, I don't think God. it's a conspiracy. I there's too much evidence to show that you know what, um, we did a lot of amazing things, and all of a sudden it stopped for years. Mm -hmm. Why I did do, it stop? It's because they found some weird. things and decided, you know what, let's just not show, share with the rest of us, and mm -hmm. and uh, they're out there. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I had always heard numerous numerous excuses for lack of a better term so pardon me but it's like oh well you know back then we didn't know as much about you know uv radiation and gamma rays and you know everything out there that could just fry us into oblivion you know? and i'm thinking but you know this this day and age we are much more capable now to send a human to mars than we were in 1969 when we sent men to the moon that's just my own personal opinion right right but yeah. here, here's something, too, that really bugs me. And I'm not saying you said that, but it kind of hints at it. We are more capable now. Um, we have this and we have that. When they didn't have this, they were smart people. They were smarter than us. Oh, yeah. Yes, they were. We're a bunch of pack of idiots right now. Mm -hmm. You know, they playing were... with toys that other people invented and being yeah. uh, manipulated and, and tooled around. But the vast majority, of, if you look at a... a um, a test for grade school for a hundred years ago, most people in the world, well, at least in the United States and Canada, wouldn't be able to pass it. Even though it was oh, meant God. for an eighth grader, when you get 12th graders, they can't even read. Mm -hmm. I know that's a scary thought too. That's a scary yeah. thought. I mean, I know, I know teenagers. Well, I don't know them personally because let's face it, I'm not hanging out with teenagers. I don't need Chris Anthem knocking at my door. Right. <laughs> but I, I know of teenagers that, will just break down and cry break down and cry because they're they don't know how to write their name in cursive i'm thinking wow that's where we are i'm not saying all teenagers are like that you know but good god you know one yeah. of those sad things are why they don't teach cursive and this is this one's a conspiracy i don't know for a fact but the same I reason tend to think it is the is they don't teach i said it yeah i'm they, never gonna need it no not that i think they don't <laughs> teach it because they don't want you to read the old text uh maybe that might have something to do with all it. the old documents all the old journals all the things that have been before um yeah. everything from uh, haster popped in it reminded me all the old literature of these greats to mm -hmm. um you know things like the constitution the magna carta all these other stuff you won't be able to read it yeah yeah yeah, if you if you ask you ask some random person on the street, hey, do you remember the Magna Carta? What what's that? <laughs> exactly. God. Yeah. Uh is that yeah, a new that, beer? It's, it's yeah, no, no kidding, right? Any yeah, any <laughs> anything to start tickling their taint with all the dirty crap that they want to do nowadays. Yeah. Chris <laughs> Persia says, Adega speaking the truth. We have forgotten how to build the rockets for the Apollo missions. You know what? I don't know. I don't think it's so much the fact that they forgot. They're just going to throw it in your face that, oh, they cost too much money. They cost too much money. You know, but I mean, the, the Apollo rockets back then, I know there was a lot of waste. You know, it was it was a lot of waste to get them up there. And then <laughs> segment one breaks off. <laughs> Number two breaks off. And then you get all that crap floating around outside, outside, <laughs> up, in, right, up right. in space. You know, so I think... It, Logistically speaking, yeah, it was a lot of rocket to build for a lot of money that was just going to be wasted. But that was just the process that they had to go through back then. Again, back then, 30, 40 years ago. Nowadays, they'll keep saying the same thing. Oh, they cost too much money. The Apollo rockets cost too much money. Well, tell me how cost effective the rockets are now. They're probably how much more expensive? Granted, right. they, can, they, can do, they can do better things. But the shit we got these days, they're, 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 everything's going to cost money. It just all depends on what you want to prioritize and how you want to spend it. Well, and, and Elon Musk with what he's launching and the reusable, think of that being the uh, 
the model airplane where mm. several of the governments of the world are using Ferraris. Mm. They don't use rockets. Yeah. I can guarantee okay. you that. I mean, I saw it. I, I watched the dang thing move across mm -hmm. the sky. And then that wasn't the first time. There's a lot of people that say, we got stuff that doesn't require rockets. Yeah. That's yeah, true. I mean, and geez. there's a lot of times when they deliberately handicap us. Because I've talked about this shuttle mission and, and uh, terahertz technology and things that they did wrong, which they could have corrected. But one yeah. of the big programs that they had, which should have been implemented, was that people would recognize that they had these big orange or rust colored tanks on the mm -hmm. space shuttles for yeah. fuel to drop off. They didn't need to drop them off. They could have brought them into orbit and used them as assembly platforms to make space mm -hmm. stations. They were huge. They were hollow. They would work perfect. There were designs to do it and just mm -hmm. never did because yeah. they didn't need to. Yeah. Cause they were so expensive and sometimes they explode. That's, that's just a tragedy though. But yeah. Adega giving away the secrets of how I escaped the nursing home. Damn it, Adega. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I mean, well, I mean, there's there's so much there's so much stuff going on. I know, I know everybody likes to joke, like, oh, just wait till we get warp drive. You know what? Someone's working on it right now. I promise you that. But we're we're probably not gonna get there anytime soon. But I mean, shit, you think you think back 20, 30 years ago when they were starting to figure out how ion propulsion works. And now, you know, you can use the uh, photonic propulsion, you know, sunlight propulsion, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm thinking, man, how expensive do these things have to be? And, and we're, we're not doing it like I don't know. Maybe we're still trying to figure out the groundwork, trying to see how everything works. But I'm thinking, you know, the, the ideas are there. It's just a question of. I, and I know Adega will have something to say about it. The ideas are there. It's just a question of, are we going to have the technology soon enough to do it? And Adega is probably going to say, oh, we've already got warp drive. There's already things flying around up there. You know what? He might be right, <laughs> folks. I don't know. I can't, I can't disprove his theory. So it's possible. We got to we gotta close up for McEnany, we promise. But just, yeah, we do. just to give you a right. hint of things that I, you know... I, I've lived a very fortunate life. I've seen a lot of things. I've known a lot of people. And when I was a kid, I knew a guy, and some of you heard me talk about this, because this, this guy couldn't tell. He was under a, um, a clause where he wasn't allowed to give out secrets. And we we're kids. You know, we're talking about space stuff and all that. And, and he started giving us hints of things and would smile but wouldn't tell us. And basically, he was working on projects that caused the – instruments to pick up brain waves to where you can drive tanks and planes with thought. This is in the early eighties. Jeez. That's so scary. yeah, we are far beyond <laughs> the little simple. I got an iPad and I could touch it with my finger as compared no, to when you sit in front of it and you just think and it goes. Hey, Adega, I'm going to, I'm going to send a car to you right now. You ready? Yeah, it just pulled up. Thank you. All right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> my god anyway guys i did not realize the time already we're gonna send you over to mockney's so we're not gonna you know go over too much i do apologize again for the delay this morning but send loki your love it's, and white it's it's not a dagus fault he's just not a morning person so that's why we have him here doing the morning show with us <laughs> if you guys want to see more of this Good God, I pity you, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I do want to thank you all again for tuning in and staying tuned in better than AEW ratings this week. You guys are awesome. Oh, I did it again. I'm sorry. Yep. Big, 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 big special thank you um, to my co-host. Send uh, Loki okay, his no, be yeah. our best, though. I hope he yeah. gets better soon. He may not get back to you all at once. He does need his rest, but, you know, just let him know you're thinking of him. Um, also, honorable mention to – he's no longer there. Um, big honorable mention to Mexican Iron Man for swinging by. I do appreciate you stopping by to help us out today, brother. But the yes, king of YouTubers. The king of the not YouTubers. All right, Mockany uh, has his pre-show up and running right now, so if you all want to hop over there now, go do it. Um, for the rest of you – self high five you guys were awesome this morning thank you all for your super chats your support and one more big special thank you to my co-host co-host adega outlaw because i could not have done it this morning without him um adega any closing thoughts for chat this morning no nah, you guys are awesome best wishes <laughs> to loki zero is great and uh 
Disregard everything I said. I don't want anyone knocking on my door. <laughs> oh, well, as long as it's not Chris Hansen, I don't think you guys. <laughs> no. All right, guys. We'll catch you all later. Yeah. Peace, guys. Later. These videos are tremendous. Like, comment, and subscribe, and hammer that notification.